Hi friends, I am so excited because I'm crossing something off my bucket list. I've always wanted to see the fall colors in New England and I had an opportunity to come out here with my husband, sort of unexpected. My husband, Tony, who shoots and edits all my cooking videos, is a television cameraman. He works mostly live network sporting events, so during the NFL season, he travels all over the country and it so happens that he's covering the New England Patriots and I was able to come out with him. So right now we're just outside of Boston, but we're going to drive through Massachusetts into New Hampshire and then on to Vermont. And we know it's going to be beautiful, so we thought we'd shoot a bonus video and bring you along. Ready? You're not going to say it? <laughs> Off like a herd of turtles. <laughs> there we go. We have no agenda for this trip. We're just going to drive, and if something catches our eye along the way, we'll pull over. But I gotta tell you, for two people who live in the desert southwest, all of this looks incredible. Oh, that's oh. oh, That's beautiful. With every mile we drive further up north, we notice more leaves have started to turn. Beautiful colors. Oh, it's just amazing. Look at that one, how red. I love how you can see ahead, like it, the changes in the color green, and then all of a sudden you start to see the, all the different colors. Oh, look at that. Oh, that, that range. Yeah. Beautiful. Like any given section here could be a painting. In New Hampshire, we pull off the highway to see our first covered bridge. Built in 1853, Rowell's Bridge is still being used today. Tony is in photographer's heaven, capturing its rustic charm from every possible angle. New Hampshire is filled with rugged mountains and lakes. I was drawn to its seemingly slower pace and signs of wildlife, literally. I love the signs. Moose. Look out for moose. There's one right there. Moose on the loose. Next five miles. That would be cool. If we saw a moose, that would just put this trip over the top. Preferably on the side of the road, not on our car. <laughs> if we saw a moose and a squirrel. I did see a squirrel already. It's very cute. Hey, Fluffy tail. But I did not invite him. Did you ever watch? Rocky and Bullwinkle? Rock, Rocky and Bullwinkle? Oh, yeah. We never did see a moose, but we came for the fall colors, and that we definitely found. When we crossed over into Vermont, we went off the beaten path, turning down roads with no idea where they'd lead. Look at this. Amazing. How would you like to live? Look at that. So sweet. Do we know where we are? No, no. we have no idea. But sometimes it's good to just go off the beaten path. Ah. Oh. This is gorgeous. It's like a postcard. Well, if you're going to see a moose, this would be the place to see it. Keep your eyes peeled. It's funny they call this, this is a road, but it's like off the beaten path for sure. I love how the trees just canopy of color over the top of us. This would never get old, I would imagine. If you how could you possibly take this for granted? It's just so beautiful. We even open the sunroof as if to soak in more of the scenery. 
I love that you can turn off pretty much on any little road. It doesn't even matter where it's going, but you know it's going to be scenic. It's just beautiful. Yeah. And I love the fact there's homes. People live out here. This is home. Are you keeping your eyes peeled for a moose? Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. Colors right here. Oh. Look at that tree. We came upon an apple orchard and decided to stop in for some hot apple cider. Let's go check it out. And once there, we filled our cups with so much more. Oh, smoked. Sure, I think that sounds really good. Let's give this a try. Gotta have some crackers with cheese, right? Oh wow, you can still feel that they're warm. These apple pies are hot out of the oven. I say we take one. Huh, that's hilarious. Vermont. What happens here stays here, but nothing ever really happens. It's hilarious. Thank Thanks. you. Thanks Appreciate again. It. Bye bye. Good day. Wow. Well, we made out like bandits. Yeah, After leaving with hands full, we enjoyed an impromptu Got picnic outside. Here's your hot apple cider. The setting was perfect, which more than made up for our lack of proper utensils. There we go. Good thing you brought this. <laughs> Oh, well, perfect. Is this the, uh, what you were hoping for? This is my dream, especially Vermont. Vermont in the fall. Surrounded by fall foliage, this is what my heart's been craving. I don't think I should make it back to the hotel. Tonight. Oh no. No. We'll finish this here. Do people who live here take this beauty for granted? I sure hope not, because for me, it feels like God is painting a masterpiece with varying shades of gold, orange, and red added to the color palette. Throw in a century-old covered bridge, and that just puts New England's charm over the top. In a short amount of time, we covered a lot of ground, driving all the way up to the northernmost part of Vermont, just a few miles from Canada. The sun was setting as we reached the resort town of Newport, where we found homes and churches tucked into the hills, sailboats quietly sitting in the lake, and postcard-worthy scenery in every direction. I hope you enjoyed coming along with us. Thanks so much for watching. <laughs>